Hello students. So today we will discuss about micelles. Micelles are nothing but uh, thermodynamically stable colloids. Stable thermodynamically colloids. Colloids, what are colloids? You can see it in my other lectures. Now, in dilute solutions, surfactants they act as normal solutes they act as normal solutes But at well defined concentrations, the concentration is uh, well defined, or I should say represented by a uh, up arrow, uh, there is a abrupt change in osmotic pressure. So, right, osmotic pressure, it actually changes uh, there is a change which actually uh, leads to certain phenomena like the turbidity increases there is change in electrical conductance and uh, surface tension uh, also changes. Now this behavior of uh, change in these following quantities can be explained in terms of organized aggregates. And these organized aggregates are nothing but the micelles we are talking about. Now, what happens in a micelle? It is difficult to define when there are two chains, there are two parts, hydrophobic and hydrophilic. When the uh, hydrophobic chain, hydrophobic chain, uh, it, uh, uh, if they are oriented towards inside of the particles, oriented They are oriented inside of the particles. That is what uh, is the structural configuration of a missile. Inside the particle, the semicellules are formed. Now, as we have micelles, we have something called micellization. Micellization. It is and then uh, it is actually an alternative alternative to ad adsorption. Uh, so it's alternative to 
adsorption and uh, what happens here is that interfacial energy uh, of the solution it actually decreases so interfacial energy that should be decreases during this crystallization process now during this crystallization there are basically uh, there are two uh, distinct contributions first is that uh, intermolecular attractions between the hydrocarbon chains in the interior of the vesicle so first is your uh, hydrocarbon chain intermolecular attraction and uh, the second uh, contribution is mesalization allows strong water water inter interactions uh, which could otherwise be prevented so the second is uh, so this was the first one which put it as one uh, this is the one and uh, Second is it is a strong water water interaction uh, this is uh, it goes up and uh, the, this this interaction is uh, actually allowed by mesalization which is normally prevented and the uh, mesalization is also referred to as the hydrophobic effect and uh, no actually this 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 process this this process is actually also called the uh, hydrophobic effect Uh, it is a major contribution to the mesalization that is taking place. Now, coming to the structure of uh, mesali. Basically, spherical over wide range of concentration. Uh, then, uh, at high concentration, uh, there are marked transitions to liquid crystal-like structures. So, when the concentration is high, uh, they actually going to a liquid crystal-like structures. Now, if you uh, try to uh, classify micelles, then we have five type of micelles. First of all, is spherical micelles that we have already talked. 
then we have microemulsions then we have uh, bilayer micelles cylindrical micelles and uh, we also have laminar micelles so these are the different structures of micelles that are possible and apart from this uh, there is also something called an uh, inverse micelle these inverse micelles are basically formed in a non aqueous media structure so apart from so instead of uh, having a structure like this essentially so usually have this is the usual micelle the hydrophobic structure instead of this they are, they will have a structure like this the hydrophobic part will be outwards so this is your hydrophobic part so this is invert inverts so this is uh, inverse to micelle and this is the normal one now the there are some advantages of inverse micelle first of all these systems can be used to carry polar material in a non polar medium so, uh, uh, so inverse micelle is used to carry polar material can carry non polar medium now uh, for example uh, calcium oxide or uh, magnesium oxide can be carried in burner fuel and uh, this burner fuel consists of uh, SOx sulfur oxide so uh, they are prevented oxidation by sulfur oxide okay, so this is one of the examples of this 